Welcome back guys. Now I was expecting this video to be like the completion video. Uh, I was expecting to have done all my tinkering, you know, got everything done and just be showing it off to you now. Well, things have not worked out like that and I've ended up getting kind of sucked into this build. Since the last video, uh, I've put like over 20 hours more into this build. Um, trying to get these models um, exactly the way I want them and changing my mind about different things and playing around with ideas. And I've just got sucked into like refining it and refining it and refining it and then having new ideas and, and wanting to change things around. So I thought that I'd bring you into the process uh, and, and sort of at least give you an interim update on what's going on. Because I think... You know, I'm I'm kind of like like getting really really invested in this city. Um, but does let me start showing you a few things. So let, let's start off with the casinos because I want to show you like this is how like kind of dramatic, just fairly simple changes can be. So um, like over here, and I, I kind of want to show you this view first, and then and then I'll show you the the view of the, the new ones, like. You look at these casinos, and let me see if I can get a bit of distance on them, and uh, and they're pretty cool, right? But it's it's kind of broken up, and you get you get bits of the green neon, um, but it kind of doesn't like slap you in the face, right? Now let me show you the new design of the casinos, which I've got on the other side. And you just get this bank of unbroken green neon all the way. It's like two rows of green neon, which I absolutely love. And, it, you know, it's, it's mirrored by little bits of green neon on these buildings and little bits of green on this. And I just, I love the way that that looks. Right. And, and then you've got the, you know, the holograms in front and, oh, oh man, looks just awesome. And the, 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 all I've done, the only difference um, in the layout between this original layout I had and this layout is um, I've taken these two uh, tower modules out and put them on the outside so that now these, these are double height, whereas the ones on the side were single height, and that's why you get the, the double row of neon. Um, but, you know, the centerpiece kind of doesn't look that much different. You, you still get the, the double row on, on that building. Kind of behind doesn't matter. Um, so, yeah, I mean, pff, love it. And and actually, it, it it's better because it creates more sort of internal space in here. Because instead of having this tower, um, you know, you there's there's kind of nothing on on the front of it. So you've got like this wall around the outside, uh, but space on the inside, which just creates a. It, well, if, I, if I zoom in, like here, you got you kind of got a feeling of space. Whereas here, not so much, because of because of these sort of intruding into that space, um, and like oh man, like I've got I've got so into like this city that things like that. Well, you know, like we want to create a, a feeling of airiness sort of underneath the roof. You know, we want we want space for these people to be able to breathe. So this is encroaching. You know, it's, it's getting crazy, guys. Um, now, but let's let's talk building models because you've probably seen when I um, when I gave you this look um, these buildings with the with the circles on the top, which I decided to go for as like the the this outer circle. Um, and I think that the circles on the top of those buildings just go brilliantly with the with the circles. Oh, you'll see that like most of the roof is missing at the moment. That's because um, I've been 
I, I cannot tell you how many buildings I have knocked down trying to get these models. Like I said, this is there's like 20 hours worth of build gone into getting these models. For some reason, <clears throat> I, I don't know whether this is specific to this map or I, like particular, you know, particular regions or whatever, but it's been very, very hard to get the, the models that I want. For example, take this commercial model. Right now, that's not an uncommon model. Um, at least on other maps, I've I've not found that to be uncommon. On this map, holy God, you get these buildings. Like like this is really common. This is really common. This is really common. But getting some of the others is like they're like the phrase that springs to mind: rarer than hen's teeth. Uh, like it's just incredibly difficult to get the, the really nice commercial models. Don't know why. Like I said, I don't. I don't know if it's something to do with the region or the, this particular city or, or or just bad luck or whatever. I don't know. Um, and the residential buildings, like these, this building, uh, like I, I, it does seem to be that you know this map is getting like certain models like remember from the academy city the the, the really angular buildings Pfft, hardly ever see one of those right the the building with the you know the again from the academy city you know the building with the hole that that like circular hole in the middle you like i haven't seen one right and i've knocked down hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these buildings so what you do get you get loads of uh like this building this this model, this model, which is, you know, that one is a small version of that one. Now oh, there's another one. You get loads of these. Um, now this model, there are like three variants on this model. There's um, at least two variants on this model. Uh, they're they're not quite the same, but they're like almost the same. Now one of these models um, is uh, oh man talk about rare i've seen two of them and like i would love to do the this inside row of buildings in that one particular model and i i haven't even got one that i can show you like if i if i find one um i will show it to you because it's it's an awesome building it's an unbelievable building um, have I got an example of the different size? I haven't, unfortunately. You know what? Let me knock some of these down, and, and while I rebuild, we might. I'll save that one. Let's um, knock those down. Uh, we can knock down the commercial ones that I don't want. Although, I, I kind of sort of like the, the way that that comes in. I oh, don't know why that's just abandoned. Oh, it's building fire. I was going to say that that had me worried for a second. The stability of this city um, has been tremendous, and actually, if I left that building, it would come back, because um, it's the only way that I get buildings abandoned now is is because of building fires. But um, but they do come back to life. But I'm going to knock that down because what I'm trying to get, I'll show you. Um, I'm trying to get these buildings. These um, this is called the Galleria, and I think that is an awesome little building. And again, it's nice and rounded and curvy, and it's very green and very white. Uh, it's very distinctive, stands out. So I'm probably, I'm, I'm actually toying with having more of those. Um, and the the residential, let me get rid of the demolish tool before I do some more damage. The um, the residential, um, uh, medium density residential buildings that I've been going for is is this one, which again is, you know, it's this round bobbly kind of weird thing um, but it's kind of nice and green and it, I, I think it goes kind of nicely with this if I could get like you know a lot of them but man trying to get these oh, what nightmare um, I've now got quite a few one two three uh, I've got a couple more over here one there a couple more over there but it's been very very difficult um, the other thing that has been an absolute nightmare is that buildings, buildings that have built 
like, okay, th this building and this building here, right? I've been knocking these two buildings down, trying to get this and this for, pff, uh, well, for hours and hours and hours, right? And then suddenly, this building suddenly decides it doesn't have enough room to increase density, right? And this one's doing exactly the same thing. Right. Now, I've been knocking these buildings down again and again and again, and they've been rebuilding as medium-density buildings. And then they suddenly start doing this, which is really, really, really annoying. And you have to play around with rezoning the areas. It's a freaking nightmare. Like, would I recommend doing this kind of city build? Like, if you do, like, leave a little bit of extra space or something... I don't know whether that would even make a difference, but, but these buildings are a nightmare to do. Um, it, it it really has been like it's been a mixture of like intense enjoyment, but intense frustration putting this thing together. Um, now, like right now, um, the buildings that I'm going for for the inner ring are this this model, which. I like I don't know. I I haven't m sort of made a final decision. I love these buildings. I think with the with the rings on the top, you know, if we step back, I, I like I think they are perfect. You know, when we get a full ring of these just broken up with them um, two of those, I think that's going to look awesome. Absolutely love that. But like, what do we put in this in in this middle ring? I I still didn't tell you about that building, which th there's something very special about the v one of the variants of this building, which I'll tell you about now. I'm see, I'm I'm kind of excited about this. Um, okay, let, let's talk. Let's talk about this building. Let me knock. Um, that one down and yeah we'll get rid of that and god knock this down for the billionth time to try and get another galleria okay what's um, what's so special about this building right this building there's nothing special about okay it's just um, it's a bog standard model doesn't do anything clever or anything but there are two variants on this building what now let me have a look at this one Um, actually, it's, I no, it's, I don't think it is that, I don't think it is that building in actual fact. It's similar to this building. Anyway, this particular model has three variants and one's kind of a little bit taller. One's a little bit um, shorter than the tall one. And then there's another one, which is the, which is the same height as the shorter one, but... It's modified, and what it has... Are there any buildings that have got the the shiny power rails? Oh, man, I've kind of, like, picked a, a bad time, because there are, there are none of these that I can, uh, I can, <laughs> I can demonstrate with. Um, no, okay. Okay, cut a long story short. This... This one model, and I, out of all of the models that I've looked at, and I've looked at, like, I think I've looked at every single blooming module, uh, model that you can that you can have in the in the high wealth, high density residential. This one building has this incredibly special property that at night it glows neon green, right? Like these things. And it's the only one, and it's incredibly rare. But if I could, get, if I could put a ring of those in, oh my God! At night, this city would look incredible with just the, these neon green buildings around this centre ring, like behind this ring of neon uh, green. I think that would be awesome. Okay, um, now the reason that I kind of brought you into this was because I think I'm going to have to do kind of a bit of remodeling of of the of the city. Before, with um, with when I got these casino models um, or this this casino arrangement, I'd got them on the outside, and they were using kind of almost the full depth of this. But using this arrangement of um, of casinos, as you can see. Um, 
they don't take up as much space. Um, so what I'd actually like to do is move this inner road like out a bit to sort of maybe a there-ish, right, to get these on this outer edge. So that means like doing something clever with um, with this with this road and obviously I'll do the same with these casinos and then I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with the with the bus station um, and I'm thinking of maybe oh, I don't know like at this point I have no idea what I'll do with the bus station but I'll, I'll figure something out I need to put a bus station in obviously for these three guys but it means that I can have six casinos in around here rather than the four and I, I just think it I mean these look fantastic um, so if we can if we can get these moved out and and you know do the same around here I think that's gonna be like super awesome so so that's the plan but of course if I do that then I've got to change how I'm gonna have this and I'm kinda of thinking <laughs> see like part part of me says um, you know what like move this out right and then th this d kinda doesn't work in the center because we've got like some buildings which are medium density some won't go to medium density because there isn't enough room and whatever so I'm thinking of maybe spacing these out maybe just a little so that I can get this maybe put like I don't know maybe put a square in the center maybe put parks around the outside like or something to try and tidy this up because I'm not happy with uh, with this center part I don't like how that looks uh, and by the way this launch arcology does not light up at night which is really really annoying um, all you get are the are the blue neon bits those glow at night but other than that everything else is dark which um, it's kind of annoying. It's kind of why I'd like to get those green neon buildings. Um, because, oh man, they would kind of look so awesome behind. Like with this dark, but with these green neon buildings in the background. Oh, that would just look so awesome. Uh, you know, this would, these buildings would grow faster if I actually had this on, on speed up. Um, I've had the mini cow running as well, by the way. And I've, I've, sent some more money over here because I've been having problems um, the casinos for some reason like the tourists kind of just stop showing up and like I'm not entirely sure why um, but I'm, I'm kind of not going to worry about that too much at this point um, I'm going to get the thing built and we'll see now um, I've kind of purposely not shown you the mega towers because I've got the the crowns on and I kind of want that little bit to be a surprise so I'll, I'll kind of save that um, now what else I've been playing around with um, putting the maglev in to see how that looks and I'm thinking maybe to raise the roof a little bit so that maybe the roof comes that, so it's it's either the, all the same height as the the bottom of these three rings, which would lift this up a little bit, um, and then maybe have a maglev ring around the outside or something. I kind of quite like how that looks with the with the double. Oh, I just showed you the crown, but never mind. Um, you wait till you see it at night. Oh my god. With like when I get all these casinos, oh my god, this is going to be awesome! Now, oh yeah, I also put this um, this road in round because several people said to me, oh you know, remember we had that that bump in here, which was kind of horrible, and I thought, well, I you know, I've got to be able to do something. Well, I managed to like get this really nice corner here uh, and put this uh, this road back in, uh, which meant that I could get these towers, which meant that the whole thing was was symmetrical so uh, what you're gonna have is like uh, three of these buildings commercial building and then one two three four five six of the circle buildings and then another one of uh, these over there 
and then finally one, two, three. So it's nice and symmetrical all the way around. Beautiful. Um, but I was playing around and I thought, yeah, what can I do? Um, I was going to put a tunnel in and then I thought, yeah, well, you know, let's see what a bridge looks like. So I threw in um, this bridge round the back, which kind of like mirrors everything. And you kind of get the, 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 the traffic, although there's not a lot of traffic. Um, you get There you go, you get the traffic whizzing round and I don't know. Um, drop, me, uh, drop me a comment about the bridge because it's really easy to get rid of and we could just have a tunnel. Um, but I like, I don't know, I think like the final version, I may drop it down a little bit, but we've kind of got to be careful because, um, we've got holograms like under, the, I've got some of the parks turned off at the moment just to save a bit of cash because, um, we were like hemorrhaging cash. We were like massively, massively down. Um, oh, and I'll, I'll tell you a trick that I'm running at the moment to, to keep the cash positive. I sent a bunch of cash over from the mini cow. Um, uh, let me tell you about the trick now, because it's I might as well. The the uh, the two mega towers at the moment are switched off. Okay, so there you go, they're switched off. But because of the bug with mega towers, if I go to here, you'll see that the the two mega towers are actually making me 34,000 an hour and you know and they're not costing anything which is kind of insanely crazy but hey and like on a long build project like this because this is a this is a long build project uh yeah it's, it's a nice trick to take the pressure off so i don't have to worry about maintaining a, a positive cash flow although i sent a ton of cash over i sent like another 50 million over from the um from the mini cow so, it's kind of not a problem, but it, it's nice to be running in the green. Um, you, you probably just saw, that, like these casinos, this bank of casinos just looks awesome compared to this. This kind of looks, like this looked okay, this looks just awesome at night. So, I'm get, definitely going to get on and do that. Um... I'm I'm probably not, I'm not going to show you like all of the tinkering that I'm going to do because it would be it would just be hours and I don't think it would be like particularly uh, particularly useful because literally I'm just going to be you know just repeatedly knocking these buildings down knocking them down just try and get the thing done um, if uh, like I I may come back like if if there's anything interesting in terms of um, the way that I set this up and moving this stuff around, I may do another interim one, but like I'd like the next video to, to for it to be finished because we've spent quite a lot of time here. So I'd like to get this uh, done and dusted, and, uh, and and hopefully the next episode will be just coming back and showing you the completed city. And I th like, uh, but I'm going to put the time into it because if I get this right, it's gonna look just incredible. Um, which I, I really wasn't expecting. I thought this city would look, you know, kind of good, you know, um, with the roof and everything. I thought this is going to be, you know, really nice. But I think it could look spectacular if I put the time into it. So that's what I'm doing. So that's kind of why the videos haven't been coming out kind of as often. Um, so So there you go. That's where we are. I'll leave it there and uh, and we'll come back to it and... Pff, I, and I hope it's going to be spectacular.